Hey guys, to DevOps CI CD tutorial series, as part of this video, you will see how to upload WAR files to Nexus using Jenkins declarative pipeline. In previous video, I have shown you how to install and configure uh, Sonatype Nexus as a service on Linux box. To our project Jenkins file, we want to add a new stage for uploading artifacts. Let's call it upload war file to Nexus. Here I am in Jenkins dashboard for this we need Here I am in Jenkins dashboard for this we need to install a plugin. Let's go to home page. Manage Jenkins. Manage plugins. Let's go and check and available We are interested in Nexus Artifact Uploader. Let's select that and install this plugin. Plugin installed successfully. Let's get back to our simple app job. And let's open pipeline syntax. Okay, meanwhile, what we have to do is we need to create a repository nexus before we start uploading artifacts to it let's grab its public ip and 80 81 yes we only logged in after we log in go to a configuration repositories and i want to create my own repository for storing my artifacts click on create repository so here i want to store maven artifacts nothing but war jar or er it has to be hosted let's call this simple app release it's basically uh, a repository where we're going to store the artifacts related to simple app okay I mean the type of uh, artifacts it's going to hold maven generally deals with snapshot and release I want this only for uh, release and layout policy say strict I promise you just keep the default value there blob storage default and the rest is default create this repository so this is the one simple app release this is going to be the container for our war files now let's get back to a snippet generator nexus artifact uploader the version of nexus is 3 protocol is http okay and the URL of Nexus, I'm picking private IP in this case because my Jenkins and Nexus are running in same network. They can talk to each other using private IPs. The next step is to provide credentials for Nexus. So I have already created this, but let me show it again. Let me delete that existing credentials. Okay, so all right, let me close this. Once again, let me open pipeline syntax. It should be Nexus artifact uploader. That's the IP. Go to add, select Jenkins. I need to store username and password of my Nexus. unique ID and description all right 
now the group ID uh, of the artifact we are going to upload so we are actually dealing with simple app you will find that information inside form.xml so group ID is in dot java home the version so actually I want to update the version and make it 1.0.0 1.0.0 the repository URL this is the one we are interested in repository URL fine so we actually provided the nexus version the protocol URL username password group ID the version the location where I have to keep my artifacts plus and also I need to tell where to find my artifacts on my Jenkins machine because we're going to build the artifacts on Jenkins which will be on Jenkins local box so that location I need to provide so add artifact right simple app so type its war so classifier you can leave it and the location of the file so usually uh, maven uh, creates artifacts under target folder so target slash one second here name of the application dot I mean it's not war version iPhone version which is one dot zero dot zero dot war file so I have filled in all the details about my artifact and about my nexus where I'm going to store artifact so if you wanna upload multiple artifacts you can click add and go with that so generate this copy the code I'm back to our local workspace paste it let me align this to increase the readability So Nexus URL, I need to mention its port number as well. All right. In this script, there are many fields which is hard coded. For example, version is hard coded. Next time when I change my version in POM file, it has to be something new but it's hard coded now if that's the case we need to every time update the version in this script if version is updated in pom.xml soon i'll also show you how to pick these values dynamically from uh, pom.xml and assign it here first of all i want to make sure this plugin is working and it's able to upload artifacts to nexus after that I will improve this piece of code let's open this in the terminal let me add 
Jenkins file. So please ignore this one. This was used part of some other example. So it seems there are changes in remote which is rejecting our operation. So let's do git pull. Okay, we also got some conflict. Let's delete this guy. All right, yeah. Let's cross check the stuff here. All right, now let's come back to this build. Our Jenkins job should check out the code from our Git. And it has to do its job. So upload artifacts failed. Okay, I believe this additional slash might be causing issue. Okay, let's add this commit. Let's push it. Let's re trigger the job. Still something is going wrong. Let me cross verify it. Okay, simple app iPhone one dot zero dot zero dot war file group ID in dot Java home. So let me check this offline and uh, I'll be back with the solution. Okay, finally we made it work. I'll explain what was the problem we had, how I fixed it. One problem was here, earlier we had full repository URL. So instead of that, I kept only the repository name. So it should be only this name, but instead I kept the complete URL. That was one issue. The second issue was uh, earlier the version was Nexus 2. So I made it Nexus 3. So after making these changes, our code started working. Now we see that success message which says uh, uploaded war files to Nexus repository. Let's go there, uh, click on browse and uh, simple app. You should see that simple app 1.00 with the war file. 
in next video I will show you uh, how to dynamically change the required fields here whenever the version in our pom.xml changes.